Right, flaking paint and um, Bruno is taking part. So if you see this, stop it. Look, go and play somewhere else, darling. There's oh, it does like to get involved. Okay, so you've got flaking paint on an old wooden door or whatever it might be. So what you do is you put your colour down, which is the top colour. That's the newest paint that's flaking off, okay? But it's the underneath bits you want to see of the old wood, and it might be even another different colour of paint. So you take a nice flat brush, a chisel, this is a number eight flat, and you go in and you make little marks like that. Now, isn't that just brilliant? Now, by hold, always have a practice first, because look, that's a really nice point. There's just a little dip there, a little curve. Really nice. You can drag it along a bit, move it about. So have a practice somewhere else first. And you've got a lighter colour. See, I've used up a lot of the dark up there. So there you've got a lighter colour. And that looks like your flaking paint. Now, if you want to be really ambitious, I don't think I want to be that ambitious today, no. OK, let's go back to the dark. This is the wood that's underneath, which is probably, it was oak once upon a time, but it's got so bleached and gnarled around. But you see, some of it is going into where that was quite wet. So you're getting a lot of, a bit of movement there. And then you could have a big area where it's flaked off quite a bit. And if you put it in context with, um, uh, I'll tell you what, let us put, let me get a brush, little brush here. Okay. So we put a, oh, I don't know. A keyhole. which gives it a bit of context and then you can come back and do more fiddly bits and it might be interesting also to go to I think some more rumba yeah just to mix with your wood now this can give you a gorgeous effect so remember have a go with your chisel if you've got a nice flat chisel you can drag it a bit that way you can drag it down just play with it if you've got any flaking paint near where you live go and have a look but I reckon this is quite a nice effect for doing it and you can also add a bit more interest and depth to it by putting some of the darker blue in you, you know you could do you could do a nice sample sheet of this sort of thing in fact i advise it to everybody when you do my courses is that you do your practice and you keep it in a book Now, isn't that fun? Let's take a bit more of that, just to sort of... So if you put it in context, let's have... Um, let me go and say, OK, we've got... Um, it's not very straight, is it? OK. There is the join. OK, so we've got another piece of wood there. And it might be a bit splintered. 
so that's where you've got your two panels um, so sorry I think that's quite a nice effect have a go see what you think and um, let me know thank you